Hello everyone. So in this video, we're gonna do two things. Make a schematic for this power supply. When you have the schematic, it's gonna be more easy for you to figure out where uh, the issues, where to measure. We're gonna make a basic schematic. Second part of the video, we're gonna talk about to figure out the replacement in case if this one missing or completely burned or sometimes some china boards they come they scratch the the ic number so you can't know the replacement i'm going to show you how we're going to do a, how we figure out the replacement for the switching ic any power supply the basic is we have the ec this one's here from the ec So we have the wave. It's going the rectify bridge and the capacitor. And it's become, it's become DC. So here, it's become like this. So we are here now in the capacitor. From here, the switch in IC and the MOSFETs, they make it easy again. We back to easy. So, but here we're gonna have like the wave like this. Transformer is a step down AC. But we're not going to have this wave, we're going to have a small wave. After transformer, so after the transformer, the diodes and the capacitor, we get to the DC again. So here, 110 volt, here, 160 volt, here, 160 volt, we s here, depend what the voltage, clearly 12 volt, 5 volt, and this is the output voltage, this is the out, and this is the, the final uh, voltage. So this is the steps, that's the voltages it's go from the input to the output here this is why so in the ec you can see the voltage is already up and down for the mosfet to do the perfect job carrying in the right time with the right wave we need to have a, a dc stable line transformer doesn't work with the dc it work with the ec let's uh, start doing the schematic 100 and 10 volt let's go to the rectify bridge so two diodes facing to each other that's going to be the near the positive side and two diode facing other side it will be the negative side So we have, so let's be sure that we did it right. So here, so two, uh, two diodes, they are facing different way here. You can see them, they are facing different way, the other one. Here, the other one is two diode facing the other way. So from here to rectify bridge, we have a good connection. It means all this are good to here. And we don't have no shirt. Then after that, we're gonna have a capacitor. The capacitor, this is 
should be the the positive side this is the negative side should be go to here so the positive side and this is the negative side of the capacitor then from the capacitor you can see the negative side of the capacitor is going to the MOSFET so let's do it here so this is the the ground of the primary G and D and we're gonna give it the primary so from here so this is the source this is the drain and this is the, the gauge so the positive side so let's see if we are following all right so here from the negative of the capacitor from this trace is going to here to this low ohm resistor many times this low ohm resistor is go open and burn it so pay attention to that if you measure from the negative to here and you have uh, open line it means this resistor is burning and that resistor is here then from here you can see the trace is going all the way to the source of the MOSFET the positive side of the capacitor it's going to go to the transformer here the positive side it's going to the transformer So let's go back now to the to the MOSFET. This is the drain of the MOSFET from here. You can see a big trace here. So it's go to here, then from here it's go to this point here. And here is a a wire then it's go so from the drain it's go to the transformer like this so now we need the the gauge of the MOSFET must be this is the gauge the other pen this is very small So here the gauge of the MOSFET is this pen here. There is a trace. It's go under this transistor and it's go to this resistor here. This resistor is a 470 ohm. That's why it doesn't give us the the sound for the line. So it's here. Then from here. So this pen of the IC is the, the drive or the, the output of the switch in IC. Let's put the switch in IC here. The first pen of the switch in IC here. It's pen 1, pen 2, pen 3. And this is 4, 5 and 6. So we have the pen 6 from this resistor to here. That's the drive. So here the pen 6 is the drive. That's what is going to a resistor and is going to the switch in IC. So let's keep going. The, let's look at the first pen. There is a little dot here. 
it's going to the other side this line here and it's go to the uh, to the upper coupler so the first pin is a feedback the pin number one is a feedback it's go to so the the upper coupler is like this and it's gonna go to this side this is the first pin of the upper coupler it's the second pin of the upper coupler so the second pin of the upper coupler is a ground is a G and D in the primary side the same ground as here when you see this symbol like here is mean this one is connected to here so the pen number two the pen number two there is I make it wrong the pen number here from the upper coupler is the pen number two So number two is the feedback. The pen number one of the IC is a ground. So here the pen number one is the ground. GND primary. And after that, we're going to make a switch and I see here with the pens to be clear. So the pen number three, the pen number three, it's go to this resistor and that resistor is going to the ground. So the pen number three is going to a resistor, then from resistor is going to the ground. When you see the pen connected to a resistor to a ground, this pen it should be R T. So this the R T this uh, pen function is to stable the wave that uh, that the switch and IC making it. This R T is helping the the R T is helping to stable that uh, that wave. And uh, sometimes there is Beside the resistor, there is a capacitor to the ground, and there is the, uh, the resistor other side, and they, they give it a name is a CT. To be easy for you, when you see the capacitor from this pen to the ground, is mean a R resistor, RT. So we done with this pen. This pen, don't worry about it, because usually the nothing is go wrong here. So we finish one, two, three. This is the third pen. And we go four and five. The pen number four. The pen number uh, number four is connect to a capacitor and connect to the resistor. The resistor is connect to here. This is the ground. So this is CS. So this one, we have a capacitor connected, connected to the ground. And we have another resistor. And here, yeah. You can see this resistor is connected to the source. This resistor is connected to the source. From here is connected to here. So we have one pen left. And this pen it should be a VCC. Yeah, most of the time the VCC is connected to this uh, capacitor here. So let's see the positive side of the capacitor is here. You can see a little dot here. The other side of that dot is going to this capacitor, to this resistor. Here, that's the VCC. 
this one here is VCC and you can see here this this pen is connected here connected to these resistors and connected connected to here to the input so this VCC there is many resistors and connected all the way to the input this re this uh, this resistor here is the start the start up so this IC it's need a little power to start cutting and sending the wave to the MOSFET the MOSFET is going to send the big wave to the transformer when the transformer receive that wave that wave is going to transfer to the second uh, coil in the primary we're still talking in the primary not in the second the second coil and the primary that's the feed it will feed this uh, switching ic so this one here just to start switching ic to work is need a little voltage at the first and after that is is not going to use this voltage it's going to start using this voltage from here so it's go here this is a low ohm resistor it's go to this diode then from this diode it's go here to the to the vcc and go to the capacitor we know there is the vcc there is too many resistors is going here to the input then the other side of the of the vcc it's go to the to the capacitor and diode and there is a second coil so the other side of the coil go let's go to the negative side of the capacitor so this coil is going to go to here and it's go to the positive side of this capacitor so this pen here it's go to a resistor then it's go to the positive side of the output capacitor this is the the gnd the ground so the other side this side it's go to the to the programmable dinner diode So let's go to this pen. This pen here, it's go to the ground. And the other side, it's go to a resistor. Then it's go to here. Then from here, from here we have another resistor to here. So this is a sample schematic. The switch in IC, we have three pens here, not four. We have G and D. We have the feedback. We have the RT, we have the pen number 4 is a CS, and the pen number uh, 5, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, so this is 5 and 6. This pen here is a VCC, VCC and DART, both of them in this pen, and this IC, and uh, the pen number 6 is the drive we know what the pens is for even if we didn't see the name over there so let's go in the computer and see if we can find 
a replacement of this IC so here I can just write switch in IC 6 pin and here I find one is a similar to the one that we have look exactly the same so here is GND we have it here we have GND feedback RE or RT GND feedback RT and the other side we have the current sense and VDD and the gauge here CS VCC or VDD and the gauge or the drive or the out all of them the same this chip is can work perfect in the place of this chip here and here is more the same I mean this is how how I get the replacement chip in case if this chip completely burn it or miss it and this is how you do it so this all for this video thank you for watching